on this fine Friday afternoon. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I will actually be taking over the live stream for today while Mark is feeling a little under the weather. So I will be roaming around the store and answering any of your questions. Happy to show you any sets or themes you would like to see. And we're just going to have a great time. So we'll start off here. We can look at some of these great sealed city sets. We got a ton of these in stock ever since that humongous haul from Florida. If you all ever went and saw those videos. Hey, what's up, Madeline? We got some great Batman sets. We've even got some advent calendars. We've got a whole bunch of parts in our Build-A-Fig. We've still got some sweet Christmas sets over here, if you all are interested in any of those. And we'll keep moving around the store unless anybody has any requests as they join for themes they would like to see. Here's a lot of the custom-made sets by Atlanta Brick Co. Zion says, I miss Bionicle. <laughs> Zion says they would like to see Bionicle. All right, we will head on over towards the Bionicle section. And here we are. And I will try and get close and pan across. The Bionicle are on the far end of the store, so hopefully we won't get too blurry video here. But if there's any particular one you'd like me to check a price on or zoom in on, uh, I would be happy to do that, or you can always call into the store, and they will certainly be able to help you uh, get to any specific product and get a price on that. Madeline said, just finished watching the Between the Studs episode about watches. That was an awesome one. Steven is incredibly knowledgeable about those watches, as it is an overlap between his two hobbies. This is my first live stream that I've been doing, so if I miss any of your comments, I certainly do apologize. Feel free to send it again an additional time if you think I may have missed your question. And I believe somebody else mentioned built Ninjago dragons, so I think we'll go take a look at those. Let's see. See if we have any built Ninjago dragons. That looks like there's a blue one there. We've got a lot of Ninjago vehicles right now. Let's see if there are any dragons. Got another request for Nexo Knights. I will finish up here at Ninjago and then we will go find that. I'm not seeing too many dragons, but we've got a lot of vehicles for Ninjago. All right, let's go check out Nexo Knights. Valkyrie, you are very welcome. And here's Nexo Knights. Let's see, we've got a number of vehicles for those as well. Nexo Knights are a little bit mixed in with some other things, but I will try and pick some stuff out. There's a Fortrex down there. Dynamic Productions asked, did you guys get any more Indiana Jones sets and love the live streams? Thank you very much for that. And I can certainly make a stop off at Indiana Jones next and see if we have any of those. And then another request for Chima. We're getting lots of good requests in today. Let's see if there's any Indiana Jones. I see Hobbit, I see Lord of the Rings. 
I may have to go up to the front to ask about Indiana Jones. Let's go up to the front and see who can answer our question. There's our man, Joe. Joe, do we have any Indiana Jones sets in stock? We do not. Our last one sold yesterday. They are very hard to find. Randra says, hey, Daniel, you're doing a great job with the live. Thank you so much. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I will try and answer all of your questions as you all join in, and we will show as many of the sets off as we can because we love to get Lego back in the hands of the people who want to collect it. So let me pull the chat back up and see what all people have also yeah. asked for. Chima was another one, and Adventurers, it looks like. So let's see what we have in the way of any of those. Chima or Adventurers. I am still very new at the store, so I am also still orienting myself. But let's see what we can find. Here's Chima. The Daily Heflin says, do you still have the Ninjago Kilo Big Fig as well as the Scorpion Pyramid for Pharaoh's Quest? I will check in on that in just a minute. Here's a lot of the great Chima stuff we have as well as some hidden side mixed in, it looks like. But this is what we have for built sets in Chima. And then for packaged sets in Chima, here is a handful if there's any particular ones you're looking for. Please show off all the Marvel sets you have in stock. We can stop off there too. Let me go check about Ninjago Kilo Big Fig as well as the Scorpion Pyramid from Pharaoh's Quest. Let's see. Here's the Ninjago figs. Let's see if we have any big figs. Um, bum, 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 bum. There's a couple big figs. Ninjago is not one of my specialty areas, but that is what it looks like we have in the Ninjago case as far as big figs go. All right, let's see what else. Mixels, all the Marvel sets we have in stock. We can certainly do all of the Marvel sets. This is most of the sealed Marvel sets right here. So if there's anything you're looking in particular, I would recommend calling into the store or going on the website and you can ask about, see we've got sealed sets and we've got certified pre-owned sets which means that they've been owned before, but they've been totally inventoried to make sure all of the pieces are there. And that has the Atlanta Brickco seal of approval that you will be getting just what you would expect as if it was a new set, but the pieces will be sorted by color and they will have been previously used. Brad P says he's watching the live stream from the Legoland Florida parking lot. Well, that's a pretty good place to be besides you know, inside Legoland, I would have to say. Let's see what else people are looking for. Zion mentioned Mixels. That's a tricky one. There's at least one Mixel. There's an orange guy there. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's all the Mixels. Once again, we are on the far side of the store, so hopefully our video quality is pretty good today. And if you can't make out prices on anything, you can certainly call into the store, or if it's one that I can easily identify, I can read out the price to you. Let's see what else. Zion Cinema says, Bionicle vehicles, please. Hmm. I'm not sure. It looks like there's kind of a motorcycle down there for this red and orange Bionicle. Also not one of my specialty areas. I promise I am into Lego though. If you're interested in knowing a little bit more about me since I may be taking over some other v appearing in videos and taking over some other live streams in the future, uh, I'm a lot into classic stuff and vintage themes like pre-2000. Some of my favorite themes, I would say, 
would be like Adventurers, Mtron, and maybe Classic Ninja. Let's see what else people are looking for. Brad P said he already visited the park itself and heading home. Well, there you go. I hope you had a great day in Legoland. Let's see, Jet Bionicle Jets. I'm not sure I'm seeing anything that looks like a jet. I'm seeing lots of wheeled vehicles, mostly like motorcycles. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a jet. That one's maybe some sort of hoverboard or surfboard, but I'm not seeing any jets. Let's see what else. If you're just joining in, this is our live store tour that we do uh, twice a week. And uh, if you are looking for any particular sets or minifigs or anything else that you might want to know, if we have here at Atlanta Brick Co., you can write in the comments and I will try and go locate it and I can show you what we have in stock as well as hopefully get some prices for you. And then if you're interested in purchasing anything, the best way to do that is to call right on the phone and you can speak to uh, one of the guys up at the desk and they will help you get that sorted out or we also have things posted on the website which is atlbrick.com and that is the best way to purchase anything that you see here jl says just join the stream who's our tour guide today my name is daniel i'm actually down here visiting the store for the first time and I will be starting work at the store here in March. I was also on uh, the live stream last night with uh, Steven for the joy of building and uh, was giving some extra help reading out questions and comments in the video last night. But uh, I think you will be seeing some more of me in the future, hopefully, if I do a good job today. Let's keep moving around. And let's see what else people have asked for. Shiny Bricks want to know wants to know if we have any built city sets. Oh yeah, we got built city sets. Let me remember where they're located. Hmm. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, they're down this direction. Grumpy Jay says, how the grump is everyone? I'm doing grumping great, Grumpy Jay. Marvel Kid 25 says, hey y'all. How you doing, Marvel Kid? Uh, let's see, here we are. Here's some built city sets in this one. Madeline says, I'm doing a fantastic job, Daniel. Thank you, Madeline. I definitely appreciate that. I've certainly got large shoes to fill between Justin and uh, Mark the Lego Master. So I will do my best and I will hopefully get better every time. There's some built city there, and then there's a lot of built city in this one. This one seems to be a lot of fire and rescue. We've got planes, we've got boats, we've got automobiles. I don't think they made any rescue trains though, if you're going for planes, trains, and automobiles. How much is the truck on the bottom? Let's see. I don't see any trucks in the bottom of this case. Were you talking about the last case that I was looking at? The fire truck on the bottom. Let's see. There's a fire truck there. Ooh, let's see. Where's the camera pointed? There's a fire truck for $19.99. Where else are there fire trucks? Was that the one you were looking for, Shiny Bricks? This one here? With the ladder and the guy on top. Yep, that one is $19.99. Thank you very much, JL. I definitely appreciate that. Zion wants to know about Lego mechs. All right. Let's see. The theme that I think of the most when it comes to mechs is probably Ninjago. Uh, if you can think of some other specific themes that would have any different mechs that you would want to see, you can drop those in the comments. There's a mech there. Let's see if we've got any down here. There's a smaller one there in the dark blue. And we'll move over to this case. There's a white and sand green one. That's a nice color scheme there. And a tan and sand green one. We've got the water strider over there. It looks like we've got a couple of those in stock. What other mechs? 
There's one there. Ninjago is definitely the theme that I think of the most when it comes to mechs. Let's see what else people are saying. Zion wants to see Ideas and Exoforce. That might be one I have to ask about. I've been watching the Atlanta Brick Co. YouTube channel for a long time. I've always seen what's in these cases, but being here in the store is totally different, figuring out how they're all laid out and where the different areas of the store are. So let me go up to the front and I will ask about Ideas and Exoforce. Hello, hello. Do you know if we have any Ideas or Exoforce sets in stock and where they're located? Um, I do know where Exoforce is. I don't know off the top of my head if we have any. I'm sure we have idea sets floating around, specifically in the front section with you first enter in. All right, I will go look over there. And then right next to the Technic is the Exoforce. Right next to the Technic is where Exoforce will be. Okay. Here is Technic. Ah, there's Exoforce. There's a yellow mech in the back there, and a whole bunch of Exoforce figures. And that looks like it might be it in that area for Exoforce. But these guys had some awesome figs with this hair. Marvel Kid wants to know about Marvel. I would say that was a pretty predictable... Uh, predictable ask there. Let's see what else. And Shiny Bricks wanted to know about minion sets. Brad P wants to know if I'm holding my phone horizontally. I am filming on the iPad. I don't remember off the top of my head if you usually film it horizontally or vertically. I can try and see what happens. Oh, it tells me orientation is locked. Rotate device back. All right. I will ask about that another time. In the meantime, let's go look for minions, ideas, or Marvel. The Daily Heflin asks, I heard the 15% off built sets is going through March now. That is true. And when I get a chance, Pharaoh's Quest or DC. All right, we will knock out Marvel and DC at the same time. Here's all of the sealed and certified pre-owned Marvel sets. And then the further we move this way, it turns into more of the same in DC sets. So this is the whole DC and Marvel section here. And if there's any particular thing you're looking for, I can try and find it. Or you can also call into the store or check on the website under themes or sets. And then if you want to see minifigures or built sets, here's a lot of the Marvel in this case. We've got a Sanctum Sanctorum down there. We've got an Infinity Gauntlet. We've got plenty of minifigs. These are pretty well stocked right now. Let's see what else. Is the airport battle set sealed? Let's see. This airport battle here. I don't see a certified pre-owned sticker, so I'm going to say that one seems to be sealed. And that is going to be $269.99. Yep, Madeline said the airport battle is $270. Saw it on Saturday. That is correct. How much for airport battle? I answered that. Let's see. Have you considered making a table for bionicle parts? Uh, you mean like a like a build a figure kind of table or something like that, or like a pick a brick table? I think most of our bionicle sets we either try and part them together completely and put them out in the case, or if we aren't able to make complete figures. Uh, then they usually end up uh, probably in the graveyard or in the back somewhere. And we'll move around this way. Here's one more look at the DC sets. How much is the sealed bat cave? I see it on the top shelf set 6860. Let's see, 6860 is this bat cave. And let me try and one hand this and see what we have on it. It looks like $149.99 down there on that 6860 bat cave. Just a table for any bionicle parts. Yeah, I think like I said, we just try and put together built sets and uh, complete those figures. And then what we aren't able to complete usually ends up in the back or down in the graveyard. Uh, let's see, I'm getting a little behind on chats here. Let's see what else we've got. 
Uh, the picture's very narrow, so obviously I'm holding it vertically. Yeah, Brad P, I am holding it vertically. Um, let, I tried rotating it earlier, and it seems to get mad at me, so I will have to ask somebody if I'm able to rotate it. I can try doing it again now, but yeah, it says orientation is locked, rotate device back. Unless I can find a way to unlock it here in a second, I think that might be a no-go once you've already started live streaming. So I do apologize for that, but I will ask somebody so that I do not make that mistake twice. Uh, let's see what else. Can we see the graveyard? The graveyard is downstairs, so I'm not gonna walk out and go down there. We would probably lose the stream. Uh, let's see, does our local Walmart have any March sets? Uh, I had heard that the uh, Boba Fett's palace had shown up. Uh, that seems to be the easier one to find right now uh, that I know of. Um, I haven't heard of anybody, uh, having any luck actually finding the Dark Trooper Battle Pack is one that I was definitely after. Uh, let's see what else people are asking for. If anyone's just joining, we're doing a live tour of the store today. Uh, I may be an unfamiliar voice. My name is Daniel, and I am filling in for, I guess, Mark, if you want to consider Mark to now be the regular person doing live streams, as Mark is feeling a little under the weather and uh, wanted to be sure to try and recover by this weekend before the store gets crazy and before he goes up to the, uh, the mall there to do a uh, meet and greet kind of event. Uh, let's see, what else are people asking for? Daily Bugle Taxi. Hmm, I don't think we have just the taxi from that. I know we don't have any Daily Bugles right now. Grumpy J says, it's okay, Daniel, it's all a learning curve. I know it is. And I'm going to do my absolute best for you special patrons of the Atlanta Brick Coast store. At the Noonan Walmart, I'm looking for speed champions. There you go, somebody's at the Walmart right now. I got the Jabba's Palace at Costco yesterday. Yeah, I heard Costco and Walmart were the two best places right now yeah. to get sets ahead of time. Um, had you heard anything different besides people mostly being able to find Jabba's Palace, but not much else for the March only, stuff? Only at like, uh, well, I don't know, some people found the speed champion stuff. Okay. I think some of the, maybe the Disney sets. I think all of them, you know, a few of all the sets. That are yeah, if you're after there. Speed Champions or Disney, I would say it might be worth a look. But uh, as far as Star Wars goes, if you're if you're after anything other than Jabba's Palace, it seems to be pretty hit or miss. All right, let's see what else people are asking. I got the Jabba's Palace at Costco yesterday. Yep, that's what I've heard a lot. Brad P says, I'm not ignoring you, but I can only answer at stoplights. Don't text and drive, Brad yeah. P, or live stream and drive or whatever. <laughs> Shiny Bricks says, Joe, in all caps. Pharaoh's Quest and Monster Fighters. Joe, where are Pharaoh's Quest and Monster Fighters? We've got some stuff up on the super special wall there. That's like the mad scientist's lab there yeah, for Monster Fighters. Like anything else we would have would be over here. Grumpy J says, Joseph, using your proper name, no LSU gear on today. He does have his lanyard, Always but you're right, lanyard, no shirt yeah. or hat or anything. Always got a wrap. <laughs> um, Always got a wrap. Uh, it's all going to be in this area with the old classic stuff. So we've got things here. Uh, doesn't look like we have any other sets right now, though. There's a lot of our Monster Fighters figs down there on the bottom row. If you're looking for any bad guys in particular, I will certainly be happy to get you a price on any of them. And once again, I am trying to keep up as best I can with the live chat, but if you think I've missed something that you were asking about, feel free to send it again, uh, and I will try and catch it. This is my first time uh, doing the live stream and also uh, using an iPad to uh, do something like this. So. Definitely trying to figure some things out on the fly. Jerry Houston also says check Kohl's for early sets. Okay, I hadn't tried that. I thought about it, but I would uh, take your word for it. It might be worth a check at Kohl's. I know they sometimes uh, have Lego things that can come in early. Uh, Lima Bricks says, can we look at Minecraft? Yes, we sure can. And I know those are down this way. And Joseph Bergman also wants to know about LEGO 3-in-1 or Creator Expert Fairground sets. So I will look for those later. 
Here is our Minecraft stuff that is all either sealed or uh, certified pre-owned. And if you're new to the Atlanta Brick Co. live stream, certified pre-owned means that it has been an open set, but it has been entirely inventoried for 100% accuracy and gets the Atlanta Brick Co. seal of approval that you will still have a fantastic building experience. There's a lot of our Minecraft sets in boxes. And I know we have a few more up front. So let's go and see if we've got any of those. And we've got some dimensions over here. Oh, shiny bricks, no worries if I forgot minions when I get a minute. Uh, yep, I'm seeing some yellow over here. There's a couple of the large brick-built minions figs. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else in this case. Let me glance around and see if we have anything in boxes that might be minions. Here's one up here. That's some more of those brick-built guys. Uh, that one is sealed. Let's see. Creator 3-in-1 or Creator Expert Fairgrounds sets. Uh, I will have to go up to the front for that because they will probably be up on the top shelf. Oh, Shiny Bricks wants price on those. Let me go back real quick, get the price on minions for Shiny Bricks. Since I missed him earlier and they waited so very patiently. Uh, this sealed minion set here, that is going to be $69.99 for that one. The already built minions uh, are between $19.99 and $24.99 for those ones there. The live chats like to disappear on me pretty quickly, so let me pull them up. And we will help Joseph find Lego Creator 3-in-1 or Creator Expert Fairground sets. Uh, let's go around this way. Can I identify a bootleg minifigure? Uh, Atlanta Brick Co. actually put out a video a while ago about identifying fake Lego figures. And I find that uh, very helpful because it walks through all the different places that you can see uh, the word Lego on minifigure parts. Um, off the top of my head, I believe they're on the undersides of the feet, like underneath the toes, and then uh, on top of the waist piece. Ooh, there's there some is. monster That's fighters. The and that this looks to be the version with the glow-in-the-dark stickers. Yes. And what's the this, price on that one? This one's 300 It has been opened, but all the bags are sealed, so it is technically a sealed set. 300 for that one. Open box, but sealed bags. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. And then we also wanted to know if we have Creator 3-in-1 or Expert Fairgrounds. Not currently. Joe says, not currently. Those, they would be up back here. That's what I was figuring they would be up top if we had any of those fairground sets, but I don't see any like the carousel or the Ferris wheel or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Shiny Brick says, thanks. You are welcome. Marvel Kid asks for Disney CMF. Let's see, our licensed CMFs in this one. Let's see, there's Disney CMF. We've got, yeah, right? We've got Frozone, Edna, Nightmare Before Christmas, Peter Pan Syndrome, Mr. Incredible. Gosh, this is how fast can Daniel name Disney characters? Jafar, Elsa and Anna, Chip and Dale. Scrooge, McDuck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, oh, let's see. Hang on. I think I can tell you which colors are which. I believe Huey is red, Dewey is... Oh, well, they're in order. Okay, Huey's red, Dewey's blue, and uh, Louie is green. Yeah, I would not have been able to. We've got Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a trick for remembering, and they say... Uh, somebody said Huey is like a... It doesn't really make any sense, but like a color hue is red, and then Dewey is like dew, which is water, which is blue. And then Louie's just the leftover one, which is green. That's terrible. Bro. Yeah, it's not great, but I guess it's worked for me so far. Leafy green for Louie. There you go. Angie says leafy green for Louie is the way to remember it. There's all of our Disney CMFs there. All right, and let's see what else people have asked for. Pharaoh's Quest Pyramid. That's right. Somebody did ask for that. And I believe, ah, yes, here it is. There is the Pharaoh's Quest Scorpion Pyramid. That's a nice one, and one I definitely regret not getting when I was a kid. That one seems to be sealed. I will go back and check on that and verify. 
That does seem to all be sealed, and that is $499.99, so $500 for the sealed Scorpion Pyramid Pharaoh's Quest set. And let's see who that was that asked about that. That was the Daily Heflin who asked about that one. Uh, Marvel Kid wants to know how much for that Peter Pan. I will run back and check that. The Peter Pan CMF with his two gold daggers. He is $15 for that Peter Pan. And if you're just joining, the best way, if you are interested in purchasing anything here at the Atlanta Brick Co., is to either uh, call right into the store, and you can talk to one of these fine gentlemen right here, and they will help you get what you are interested in, or you can go on our website, and you will be able to see a lot of what our stock is on the website, and you can even place orders from there. Oh, new set alert. Oh, yeah. Vader's TIE Advanced. Nice. This one also had open seals, but it is brand new sealed. Open seals, but brand new sealed set. So all the bags inside are intact, and the price on that one is $1,500 $1, on the Vader's will, TIE it Advanced. It will be online within a few minutes. I'm that will be online very soon. Uh, if you want to secure it before that, give us a phone call. Yep. Wait, Daniel. Uh-oh. Wait. Yes. I got a better set than Joe. Oh, man. Oh, Chris is going to one-up Joe. Better, I got a Gosh. better set than Joe. That's brand new sealed. Brand new sealed Death Star 2. We just got it in. It's $3,000, but if you buy it today, I'll do $299.99. Wow. 99 99, 99. That's, that's a steal. And yeah. 9 tenths, yes. like gas. <laughs> <laughs> like gas. <laughs> there you go. That is not something Solid. you see very often, folks. So once okay, again, open seals, see, but totally sealed bags inside, never before built, totally sealed. Killer sets. Two of, I mean, this one and the five bands. And Chris is wheeling and dealing. He will give you a fraction of a cent off if you call right now. <laughs> Also, also, buy this, and I will give you 15% off any built set in the store. Oh, there you go. There's a yep. bonus deal for you. A 15% off any built set in the store. Just one, though. If you want more than one built set. Yeah, no, no not, good. Not just one set. <laughs> if you are just joining, though, that deal does apply for everybody. All of our built sets in the store are 15% off now extended through the end of March. That was originally gonna only go through the end of February, but Chris, our ever gracious boss, has decided to extend that. So any of these fine built sets you see up here on the top shelf will be 15% off through the end of March. And I can continue to walk around and show off some built sets. And if you're interested in those, you definitely want to scoop them up quick before they're gone because that sale is pretty good. 15% off is a lot on a lot of these expensive sets. We've got the Red Baron uh, triplane. We've got Eldorado Fortress. We've got some Star Wars over here. There is an Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. We've got a pair of Big Ben's over here and a London bus. This must be the London section. And we'll keep looking at built sets while I look to see if there's anybody else who was requesting to see anything in the store. I will walk around and show you where that is. Any certified pre-owned Pirates of the Caribbean, asks Scott Robinson. I will go check on that in a minute. Yeah, it's old. There's a couple more uh, built pirate ships. But I will see if we have certified pre-owned pirate sets. Beamer Brick says, I'm very worried that my white Boba Fett is a bootleg and I'm coming tomorrow to trade it. Yeah, if you bring it in the store, we can definitely help you figure that out. But I was starting to mention earlier, the best places to know are by looking under the toes of the figure, on top of the hips, and then on the torso piece, it will be uh, on top of that neck, that neck pole. And then heads are a little trickier. Uh, depending on when they were made. The newer heads that are the totally blocked hollow stud will say Lego in it, but when they were blocked open studs, uh, I don't believe they said Lego anywhere on them. And then uh, helmets and headgear are usually up inside the stud receptacle uh, where the top of the head goes. And then there are also um, other more subtle things you can look for, like the quality of the plastic. If it's got kind of like a, a weird milkiness to it, or if some of the joints don't feel right, 
you know, generally, if, if you've been around LEGO for a long time and something just doesn't feel right, then it's probably not. But it's definitely a good idea to get a second opinion. Uh, let's see what else. Brad P says he's not driving anymore. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, and then certified pre-owned Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, let me see if I can find those quickly. Could I show built sets, including in the cases? We have got so many cases of built sets, you would have to be more specific. And I could show you anything you would like to see as long as I know where it is. And that is proving to be tricky right now. Uh, if you're just joining, I may be an unfamiliar voice. My name is Daniel, and I am filling in for Mark today. And uh, this is actually my first weekend in the store, and they decide me to, decided to throw me in a, uh, you know, right into the pot of boiling water and said, you should do the live stream. I said, okay, if you say so. But let me go up to the front and ask if we've got any certified pre-owned Pirates of the Caribbean sets. We will bother Joseph once again. Oh, no, he's helping somebody. Do you know if we have any Pirates of the Caribbean certified pre-owned sets? In boxes. Joe's got this. There he is. Joe's not busy anymore. He will help us. That's right. It's Joseph today. He's got his glasses on. Not all toes of Lego minifigs have the Lego engraving right. Don't the older ones not have it? That could be the case. I know they were not as good at printing at very small sizes. So underneath the toes could have been something they started one. doing later. We got one there. At least one. There we go. There's the Isla de Muerta set and right there with Barbosa and have... Jack. And that one is $100 there for that one. We also have the Fountain of Youth, a few of them certified pre-owned. And a few Fountain of Youth down there. And that looks to be $90, and that is on the website. Yeah. Both of those, I think, are on the website. At and least. a sealed poly bag of the Voodoo Jack I'm figure. Not sure if that's all mine for twenty dollars probably not online all right thank you very much joseph mm -hmm. and let's see can i show you the poly bag case uh let's see there are poly bags in a lot of different places i know of at least one there is this whole tower of poly bags here from lots of different time periods and these, I imagine, are things that all came from, you know, the bins by the checkout at, you know, Walmart and Target and stuff like that. But here is all kinds of poly bags from all sorts of different years. And the best way, if you're looking for something specific, uh, would be either come in the store in person or you can call us uh, on the phone and somebody will come over here and they can root through a little better than I can one-handed while holding a massive iPad <laughs> and help you find what you're looking for. But uh, we will go to just about any length to help get you what it is that you need, because that is what we are all about here at the Atlanta Brick Co., is getting the Lego to the people who want it. And let's see if I can do that right now by checking the live chats again. Uh, will you still give me some money even if it is a bootleg? Uh, that would be up to uh, Chris, our boss. We do um, sometimes purchase figs that are um, not genuine Lego. Like we do carry some uh, Mega Constructs figs and some other figs like that if they are themes that Lego doesn't make. As far as a direct bootleg of a Lego figure goes, um, I would always say it can't hurt to bring it in. Um, we'll trade in pretty much anything here at Atlanta Brick Co., even bulk brick or uh, you know single mini figs. We will almost always take it, so I would say Definitely bring it in, and then uh, Chris can make that decision uh, when you get in. All right, let's see. Any Star Wars clone sets? Yeah, we'll go down to the Star Wars area. I'm surprised we didn't get a request for that sooner, unless I missed it, in which case my apologies. Uh, but here is the Star Wars section. We'll start with this case here, and we'll pan down. Got a lot of those 501st speeders, no surprise. Here is the original Millennium Falcon. Uh, I'm guessing you were saying that you were looking for uh, Clone Wars sets or uh, any sets with clones in them. So I will sort of do a quick scan and see what we've got in that way. There's a lot of custom uh, chromed C-3PO's. Let's see what else everybody asked for. 
If I did the live stream, the customers would cry, scream, and run away, said Grumpy J. Well, hopefully you all, hopefully I'm doing a better job than that. But I think Grumpy J has been watching these streams long enough that he would probably know the store layout even better than I do. Uh, Corey wants to know, do we have any modular building sets and not the custom ones, the actual sets? Yes, we have definitely got modular sets. And I will go up to the front and look at those just as soon as I finish here with Star Wars. Let's see. I picked up the Santa Claus poly bag for 50 cents at Walmart a few weeks back. That's a pretty incredible deal. Even for a poly bag, I don't think I've ever seen them at a retail store for, for much less than 3 or $4. Scott Robinson saying, hit the like button and subscribe. Yes, definitely. We're not too afraid of plugging the store, but I know that when I've been watching live streams, I sometimes forget to hit the like button, even if I want to support the great content that I'm watching. So definitely, if you enjoy this, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's see. Just won't be much as worth as much as the real deal, says Lemur Bricks. Yeah, that's definitely the case. But if you want to, uh, if you are interested and just getting it out of your collection, then definitely bring it in and we will see what we can do. All right, and now I'll go look for modular buildings. And then Brick Kenny G wants to know about the hidden side fire truck or castle. And I will check on that just as soon as I finish looking for modular buildings. Ooh, while I see it, somebody was asking about fairground sets. I do see one up here. We've got this version of the Ferris wheel. So if you are interested in a fairground set, that is the first one that I've seen. And now we'll go look at modulars. Have we done a scan of the top shelf sets behind the counter today? We did very briefly, but I will do that while I'm up here. Uh, let's see what modular buildings we have right now. There is a built palace cinema that will be as is, but it is 15% off through the end of March. And let's see what other modular buildings we've got. I see a detective's office over there. There's a detective's office modular set. And while we're here, we'll do a scan of the top shelf. This is where all of our best sets come to be on prominent display, where they can be easily seen right as you come in the door. So here's a lot of what we've got on the top shelf. Gary says, I've been to the store many times and still don't know where everything is. Yeah, there's a lot here. It was definitely uh, interesting trying to piece it together in my mind how everything was laid out in the store and I still didn't get it right. So <laughs> I can picture everything, but I can't always walk right to it, especially while wielding an iPad. <laughs> I will definitely get there, Joe says. Do we still have the Republic gunship? Yes. If you're talking about the UCS one, there is in fact a UCS gunship right here that is built. No figs, but built, so it's 15% off of that price, which is 300 on that UCS gunship. All right, didn't I sell you a built hidden side castle a while back? That certainly could be the case. Things move through the store very quickly. Oh, yeah. We've got some stuff that just came in the front door. Yes, well, close. Oh, actually, yeah. So well, this is yesterday. A sealed <laughs> castle set with the uh, ghost. I think this was the. Might have been the first time we ever saw the ghost. It could be. Yeah. Definitely one of those first ones. Uh, and the box is mint condition. Mint condition. That'd be a good collector piece for sure. Uh, we have a Dragon Knight set. Sealed, mint condition. More I'm getting ready to price mint. these now. I don't have prices on them yet. He's going to just price these now, and then will these be up on the website? Yes. I'll add Joe, said Joe yes. says he will add those to the website, but obviously if you want to get your first dibs on them, call the store just as soon as you can. Sealed rescue from the Murr people. There you go. Um, got a nice Goblet of Fire set. Yeah, we just got that in. That is sealed. And the uh, garbage truck. And then uh, somebody literally just traded in these sets here. Just uh, fresh in the door. Get them while they're hot. We're going to have to inventory this one here, but it is got most of the bags are sealed. Most yeah. of the bags sealed. So seal's broken on the box, but yeah, those are definitely factory sealed bags there. 
and everything looks fantastic. But we will still go through that just to make sure nothing's a couple come of out the of these bags, plastic trays. Uh, opened up, so we've got to go. Uh, we've got we will have to inventory those bags. Okay, we will inventory all of the open bags, and we will always make sure that you're getting everything you would expect to be Technic getting. Technic set is sealed as well. Another sealed Technic set. Nice, awesome stuff. Yeah, great vintage stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and one and a more. Sealed Spirius set. Sealed in shrink wrap. Nice. Very cool, yeah. One of those big robots. Those were the cool ones from Spirius. That is awesome. Yep, fantastic stuff. So, Chris will be getting those priced, and then Joe will be getting them up on the website. But you are welcome to call in if you want to get your name down for something uh, before anybody else gets the chance. All right, let's see what else I have missed. Uh, feel free to refresh my memory. Um, on what I have on my list of things to go see. I know we did the modulars and we did a top shelf scan, uh, but if I missed anything else that you all request, uh, feel free to let me know again. And let's see what else everybody's saying. Grumpy J says, Daniel, good job. Everyone else stay grumpy, you gotta go to work. That's right, you, you stay grumpy too, Grumpy J. Darn Lego hobby, expensive one. One last look at Marvel, says Lemur Bricks. Uh, are you more interested in sealed or certified pre-owned sets or would you like to see uh, built sets and minifigs. Just let me know. Uh, price on the garbage truck. Let me go ask Chris if he has a tentative price for that one. He said he was going to work on pricing them now, but I will see if I can get any information on that for you. Uh, looks like Chris is actually helping a customer right now, but uh, somebody was asking for the price on uh, this orange garbage truck here that he was just showing off. Uh, let's see. I gotta pull the chat back up. It likes to disappear on me. Uh, <laughs> Shiny Bricks was asking okay. about the price on the garbage truck. Shiny Bricks, we will get a price on that one first as soon as Chris comes back, and I'll come find you and let you know. All right, Joe will come and find me and let me know what the price is on the garbage truck. Uh, the built Simpsons house. I will go get that, and then we will look at the Marvel. Uh, they were looking for sealed mechs, so I will check that. The built Simpsons house is $400. Uh, I believe those are all the correct fix for it, and that is 15% off right now. So that's at least gonna be $60 off of that. And uh, now we will go look for some sealed Ninjago mechs. Let's see what we can find. We also had a request for Jurassic World, so I will do that. Let's see what we've got in the ways of mechs. This looks rather mech-like here. There's a salvage mech from Ninjago. And I'll take a step back and we will pan around. I'm sure lots of these have mechs in them, but they're stacked to the brim right now, so it's hard to always see what we got. There is Zane's Titan mech battle. That's a pretty nice one, that looks to be sealed. Uh, here's another one from the Ninjago movie. That one is the Quake Mech. Also seems to be sealed. Don't know if the Water Strider counts as a mech, but there's that one. Uh, Brad P. wants to know about built vehicles in the city area. Okay, I will do that just after I check on Jurassic World. Uh, let's see... That's all I see at a quick glance for sealed mechs for Ninjago, uh, but you're welcome to check the stock on the website or call into the store and somebody can come by and do a more thorough search for you. All right, let's go do Jurassic World. Maybe you're looking to stock up on some Jurassic World sets before Jurassic World Dominion comes out this summer. That would definitely be a good reason to do it. Here are some Jurassic World sets here. So we'll just pan through those so you can hopefully see the titles and set numbers at least. If there's something specific you're looking for though, feel free to shout it out. And then I will help Brad P with built vehicles in the city area. There's the mansion, that's a nice one. And Dr. Wu's lab. And then I believe we've got some more behind me here. Yep, here's some more Jurassic World sets. There's a four plus one. There's some certified pre-owned. Uh, Marvel Kid wants to know how much for that mansion. Let me see here. It's got a little bit of the box torn off on the top, but it does 
It looks like a broken seal there. So this one, this one may be certified pre-owned or may still have the bags intact, but either way it is 250. Uh, and there's actually another one behind it. So that one may be in better shape, but I imagine it's the same price. If you want some more details on that, definitely give the store a ring. Uh, let's see. Laugh your Asheville off. Nice name. Says, cool looks like Bart and Lisa are missing. Also, I would never take it apart because of all that reddish brown. Yeah, that would be a good call. Taking anything with reddish brown or dark red apart is always a, a pretty bad gamble to take in terms of parts breakage, especially if there were exclusive parts that only came in that set. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, Marvel Kid. He said sealed Marvel mechs, not Ninjago mechs. I apologize for that. Let's see what we've got in Marvel for mechs real quick. And then Brad P, I believe, is next up on my list. Um, this might be a mech here. Spider-Man Doc Ox Tentacle Trap. That looks fairly mechish. There's a few of the buildable figs for Marvel. We've got Iron Man, Captain America, and Hulk. And let's see what else looks like. It might be a mech here in Marvel. Uh, let's see. Not seeing too much at first glance that looks like mechs. I'm seeing mostly vehicles right now for Marvel. There's some mechs there. There's Thor mech armor, the small one. And, oops, dropped a set. There is Miles Morales mech armor. And those ones all seem to be sealed. I'll put these back up on the shelf here. All right, let's see what else. Uh, I will go do, Brad P wanted to see some built city sets. So let's go do that. Built vehicles in the city area. Vehicles is definitely what they do most with city. And we have got them absolutely stocked to the brim in these cases. So if there's any particular type you're looking for, like any rescue vehicles or a certain type of vehicle, like trucks versus boats versus planes, I can certainly look for those. Wumi wants to know any bulk construction parts. Um, if you wanted bulk parts like that, I would say the best way to do that would be either to call the store or come in in person and we might be able to arrange something special for you. But uh, as far as I know, we don't do any bulk construction parts. Yeah. And construction, if anybody doesn't know, is those buildable figures that has the, uh, the large ball joints. Yeah. And I believe that term encompasses everything from Bionicle uh, to a lot of the buildable figs for things like yeah. Star Wars no. and uh, most of those other large scale posable figures. Yeah. Those aren't even the old knights. Let's see what else. Adolfo wants to know mar uh, modulars if you get a chance. I uh, covered mar modulars earlier, but we can do a quick pass just to see what we've got. I remember we had a palace cinema and a detective's office off the top of my head. Let's see what else. I picked up tons of the dimension sets at my local 99 cent store, including the bigger level packs. Nice find, Brick Kenny G. Built Palace Cinema Price. Yes, I will get that for you as soon as we go up there. Raymond says, hello from Amarillo, Texas. Oh, here we go. hundred bucks. hundred dollars for the sealed orange garbage truck from City. For, let me remember who was asking about that. Shiny Bricks, I yep. believe, is the one asking about that. Best thing to do is to call in if you want to get your name on it. All righty, let me go check on modulars. And I was going to get specifically the price on the built palace cinema and let's see if i can read it from down here that looks to be three hundred dollars for that one and that looks to be fairly complete i don't believe it has the vehicle or it doesn't look like it has any figs either but built sets will be as is and they are 15 percent off of that 300 mark and i think we might have some other options if you're interested in palace cinema as well I believe there's one on the back shelf. Oh, that one might have somebody's name on it. That one must be sold already. But we've definitely got that built palace cinema. Let's pull the chat back up. Do we have the Marvel Mech 3 pack? Uh, I can go check on that. No, I heard a no, a definite no from Chris. No Marvel Mech 3 pack. We actually did it. Uh oh. For an awful definite sounding no, now it's become very wishy-washy, so let's see. 
Let's see what we can find. We did just have one, but it prob they probably oh, also... Here was also the Thanos one. I missed that one earlier. There's the Thanos mech. Okay, we don't have them. Nope, Miles, now it's a definite no. Miles he was Morales right. Up there, though. Yeah, I got Miles Morales, and I got the uh, Thor one there. And I just got Thanos, but that was all I saw for mechs for those small ones. Yep, definitely no three-pack, though. Uh, let's see. Marvel Kid says that was a Costco exclusive. That could be the case, but we get things in here from all sorts of places you wouldn't believe. Let's see. We have the best parts bin. Yes, we do have an incredibly long pick-a-brick table with all kinds of parts. We've got people that will come in here and just sit for hours and hours and fill cups and bins with pick-a-brick parts. And this is restocked. Uh, all the time. I know this stuff right here was some stuff that came in this morning. There's a lot of black and white parts from some spaceships and space shuttles and things. So we've always got new stuff coming in on the table. And the best way to look at that is to come in in person and you can pick out what you're looking for to your heart's content between the hours of 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. Chris, are we still going through the minifigure hall? Yeah, Ray, that's going to be like probably a, a multiple years long project. Those minifigs that all have those hands missing and they're all separated. I've gotten uh, through about 300 of them out of 15,000. 300 out of 15,000, yeah. there you go. You can that's, figure uh, out what percentage that is. But it, that's gonna be taking, a very slow project. I was up at uh, four o'clock and I worked from four to seven today on it. And I got done maybe 20 minifigures. And, that, and they're all uh, subsorted <laughs> now by theme. So subsorted by theme, I was still going to get 20 figures done in three hours. Good figures, though. Um, Heath Ledger, Ledger Joker was there. Oh. And I brought him in this morning, and he sold today before we could even get him out for sale. That was from the first tumbler. Yes. There you yeah. go. That's a good one. All right. Uh, let's see what else people are asking about. The NASCAR Jeff says, I've been one of those parts bin searchers. Oh yeah, that's a popular popular pastime for a lot of people. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. We do pull out some of the more rare and expensive parts, but if you're just looking for some basic parts to build up your collection, that is a fantastic way to do it. Uh, Rocco Thomas wants to know if we have any of the Star Wars Captain Rex Phase 2. Let me see. I am not the best best at Star Wars, but I know roughly what he looks like. I'm seeing some here that are similar, but I'm not seeing Phase 2 Captain Rex. Let's see what else people are asking about. Brick Kenny G says, I wish I lived, lived closer to you guys so I could get parts. Any plans on expanding locations? Uh, we are not looking to move to any different cities. Uh, if there was any expansion efforts in the future, it would just be uh, to move into a larger space, but still here, probably in Noonan. Uh, they'd not be looking to uh, to move to any new cities or open any kind of franchises or anything like that. So, best thing to do is consider it a destination vacation. Make your way down here to Noonan, and you can check out Atlanta while you're in the area. There's plenty of fun things to do up there. And uh, definitely set aside at least a day or two to spend in here, especially if you want to route through the pick-a-brick bin. Uh, Chris, can I request a figure from that lot like my name on a list? Shiny Bricks asks. I will go and inquire about that. And Ray also has a question for Chris that I will ask him right when we get up here. Chris, Shiny Bricks wants to know, can I request a figure from that lot like putting my name on a list? Uh, I might know if we have it in there or not. What is it? Uh, Shiny Bricks, let me know if you're looking for a, like a specific figure or not. But if there was something that you wanted to put put your name down for that we've already found, then I'm sure we could do that. Uh, I, and then I Ray also... Seen, I've seen almost every single piece, so I know if we have it in there or not. Probably. There you go. He's seen the unique pieces, so he would have a good idea if he'd be able to find it for you. And then Ray also wants to know if your wife is still mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, she's being a really good sport about it, though. I've been working hard. Uh, I'm going to take her out to dinner tonight. There um, you go. That should make up for it. So <laughs> At least for now. Yeah. They might be kicked out of the house in a little while, though. Yeah. Scott Robinson wants to know, when will the bulk parts be back in stock online? 
Which bolt parts? Uh, I would assume like the grab bags in whatever, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, by weight. The only thing that should be out of stock are the plants. The plants sold out and we, it may be a while before we get plants back in in that kind of bulk. Okay, so it seems plants are out of stock, but everything else should be in stock on the yeah. website? Yeah, and if not, we need to update the stock. Yeah, if not, call into the store and we'll check the actual stock for you and uh, we can we can definitely make that happen. Uh, Shiny Bricks asks, Diner Waitress Series 11. It looks like somebody else is using the minifigs case right now. So I will kill some time while that happens. And Gary's also looking for a Mr. Burns minifig, so I will look for that. In the meantime, we can pan across some of these other bulk parts here. There's all kinds of goodies and things in these. If you need weapons or accessories, large building parts, all kinds of castle parts. And then this is the animals, which we're still working on restocking. Uh, but if you need any kind of animal, we are almost sure to have it somewhere. If it's not in this case here, we will do our best to find it for you. All right, let's pull the chat back up. We are looking for the Series 11 Waitress fig, 17, 16. Oh, let's see. Do you remember off the top of your head which color was Series 11? Uh, that's going to be, I think that sand green. Sand green, oh, sand green. Here. Sand green. here, oh, down here. And uh, looks like the waitress would be there if we had her, so I do not see any right now. And then Gary's looking for a Mr. Burns minifig. Do we have any Simpsons CMF in stock right now? Yes, but I don't think they're back here. They're back with, okay. I will go and look for that. Let's see what else people are talking about. Oh, it looks like we are pretty much out of time, so I will do these last requests, and then I think we will call it a day. I don't believe there's any Series 11 Diner Witches in there. Asking if Chris has it in the huge lot. Oh, I got you, Shiny Bricks. I will check that just before we hop off. And in the meantime, I was gonna look for Simpsons figs. Let me see if I can find any of those. Does Angie know if they have any cows? Uh, there may be some cows in that case, uh, but as for right now, I can go and do a quick glance. But we are pretty much out of time. Once again, uh, I have been Daniel. I've been filling in for Mark today, and uh, I'm gonna. I'm new in the store uh, as of this weekend, and I will actually be starting full time here in March. So I was taking over the live stream today just to get some practice in. So I hope I've done at least a decent enough job for everybody. Oh, there's some cows there. There's a black and white one and a brown one right next to a very expensive goat if anybody's looking for those and let's get some last chats and one more question for chris shiny bricks was wanting to know if the series 11 uh, waitress would be in those minifigs that you got we did not get accessories um so if we did get the waitress which i think we did we did not get our accessories okay so if you're just looking for the figure, we might be able to help you out. But if you wanted the complete fig with accessories, uh, you'd have to wait and see if one comes back in stock down here in the mini figs case. And let me just do one last check. Cows can be found on the ABC website. Yep, that's true. Uh, and a lot of people saying thanks for the live stream. The uh, tie advanced is now online. If you were interested in that one, that one is fully posted. So you are welcome to go on the website and you can purchase it that way. As far as anything else you might have seen today, feel free to call into the store and uh, we will be able to help you out. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us for the live stream today. Uh, once again, my name is Daniel. I hope I did a good job for you. And uh, hopefully you'll be uh, seeing my face and hearing some more of my voice in the future. Uh, but as for now, thank you for tuning in this Friday and uh, everybody enjoy your weekend.